Now that we have a way of moving around, I want to add another feature, which is a way of detecting uh, the height of our head or the HMD so that we can move under things. So as you can see, I've added a box here floating midair, and that is going to serve as a test box, which we are going to try and move under. So if we hit play now, and try to move forward, we can see that we cannot pass through this box here. Even though the camera is technically underneath, we should be able to go under, but since our collision capsule is blocking our way, we can't pass underneath it. So once again, I'm going to add a new event, custom event here. Called update capsule height. And I'm going to find a place for it. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to do a few things here. First of all, what we want to do is set the capsule half height. And the way we're going to find a value for that is to get the orientation and position of our HMD. And from here on, we can get the C value from this. Now this is going to give us the roll value. And I've noticed that it's actually given us a point which is kind of in the middle of our, in between our eyes. So in order to get something which is a little bit more in line with where your head would be, I'm going to add in a little extra offset, which I'm going to call uh, an eye height offset. I'm going to make a new variable called I height offset, which I'm going to set to seven centimeters. <clears throat> if you check this on yourself, this should um, hopefully be something in close to that. So I'm going to add that onto here. And then I'm going to divide this by two. This is going to give us the half height. <clears throat> so this should technically work, but one other thing that's going to happen is that since we're going to adjust the half height constantly, uh, we also need to adjust our height it's because otherwise we will kind of fall and clip into the ground when we change height and that is something we will do constantly so we want to keep track of our current height which i'm going to promote to a variable here which i'm going to call the last capsule c Seems I already have this one. So let's just use this one. So with this, we want to make sure to adjust also our capsule offset in the c-axis we're going to add an offset and the offset is going to come from our current orientation and position plus that offset that I height offset minus the last capsule C. 
So I'm just going to split this one and then feed that into the z-axis here. So that is technically what we need to do. Before I continue though, uh, we have a few things that we should also take care of and that is to do with these values that we use here. So these things, they happen on tick. So to begin with this last capital C, it's gonna, not gonna have a very meaningful value. Actually, it's gonna have a zero value to begin with. So in order to not get offset completely when we start playing, we're gonna initialize some things up here. That means we are gonna also add another event here. Now I'm just going to call it initialize variables. And we want to set this one to be equal to this. So that way the change in the capsule's size is not going to change initially. The position you may remember from earlier on, we were doing some stuff with. So we just find that place where we have that. We should maybe think about cleaning some of this stuff up here. But here we can see I set the last room scale position. So that is one of the values that we want to set also because we use the, uh, the difference between them here. So we're going to get this stuff here and this also and set at the top. So one other thing that we should also take care of while we are doing some cleaning up inside the begin play part here is that our capsule position will initially be offset when we start playing. So we want to make sure that it's on top of the camera. So actually we want to make sure to set that equal to the camera position just to begin with. In the position we want to set it to, we're going to base off the camera. We're going to take the X and the Y from the camera and then we're going to derive the position in the Z axis from the capsule or the actor position minus the we have this stuff several places. I should probably make a macro out of this at some point here. But it's actually this part here. I keep getting this. So here we're just going to get the Z axis, which is going to serve as this part here. And finally, we want to make sure to add update our actor position. Like that. So this is our initialization of some variables and also a few other things. So technically this is a bad name, but anyway. So you might see that we are falling a little bit. That was actually unintended. Maybe I made a mistake. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, I need to also call the um, our event here. So update capsule height because we want to have this updated as well. The reason why we need to have this updated is because we use it down here. So it needs to be called initially one time. That, that therefore it's going to stand here on the ground. So 
Let's test this out. So I have my box here, and I can actually slide under it now. If I get up like this, and see I bump into it. Actually, I need to make one final change because this is kind of annoying me. I'm going to set this camera collision down a little bit. So just five should be enough. So that way when I run into things like this, I won't as easily collide with it. So you can't really see me, but I'm just ducking underneath here. So I know you, I can, you can see I can slide under it. And if I get up, I see nothing. So that's a way of controlling uh, the height of your character or your virtual character. So hope you enjoyed and see you in the next. Bye bye.